In this video, we are going to discuss and demonstrate the decline step-down test for patients with patellofemoral pain syndrome. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. One of the hallmark symptoms of patients with PFPS is anterior knee pain while descending stairs. In other videos on our channel, we have discussed diagnostic test clusters for the condition that have been shown to have little to no value. To evaluate treatment effects, different patient-related outcome measures, such as the anterior knee pain scale, have been described, but they may not reflect disability of all patient populations with the condition. Therefore, Ophai et al. in 2019 wanted to investigate the intra- and inter-observer reliability and construct validity of the decline step-down test measuring the maximal pain-free flexion angle in patients with patellofemoral pain. They found perfect inter- and intra-radar reliability and construct validity compared with the anterior knee pain scale was average, though statistically significant. This was the first study examining the subject, which is why we give it a moderate clinical value. To conduct the test, you will need two steppers or alternatively conduct the test on a treadmill that has an inclination feature. One step is placed on the other at an angle of 20 degrees. You can assess this angle using your smartphone and clinometer. The lower end of the stepper was 20 centimeters high. The patient stands on the affected leg on the stepper so that the toes are at the lower end of the stepper. They keep the ipsilateral hand over the greater trochanter and are allowed to touch the wall with one fingertip for movement control and preventing fear. Then the patient is asked to simulate descending stairs by stepping down and forward with the contralateral leg, which induces knee flexion at the affected knee. This should only be done in the pain-free flexion range. Instruct the patient to keep the knee in line with the foot to prevent excessive knee valgus. The flexion angle is measured digitally using a digital goniometer app. Ophiad al. used Dr. Goniometer. We have linked a couple of apps in the video description. So far, a study by Selfie et al. in 2000 has reported a critical angle of 61.3 degrees during the test for healthy subjects before they lost control during the step down. This could be used as a reference to evaluate your treatment effects with the test. Alternatively, as with other lower limb performance tests, you could use a limb symmetry index between the affected and non-affected knee. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation and in case you're not subscribed yet, click the button below. Check the links in the video description for a couple of useful links to other resources from us. And as always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you in another video. Bye.